Hello, this is Devin Easterlin with SJA Property Management. And this is another edition of Landlord's Corner. Today I'm going to talk about the difficulties in managing a property out of the area, whether that be out of the general area, out of the state, or out of the country. And a couple things you want to think about, some of which are pretty obvious and some of may be a little less obvious. So the first one is conducting move-ins and move-outs. So this assumes that you were uh, near the house when you were showing the property, doing your lease signing, doing your lease screening. However, that from the time that someone decides that they'd like to take the property to when they actually move in, maybe a month or so down the road. So you want to factor that into your schedule for when you leave to go out of the area. You want to make sure you're there for the move-in um, so that you can tell them how to use the major systems in the property, get your, uh, lease, uh, your uh, walkthrough signed by the tenant and yourself. And at the move out, you want to do the same thing. You want to be present there, make sure that they've returned it in the condition that they left it, um, reference your move-in documents, collect the keys, all of that. So those are two things where you're definitely going to want to be at the property with the tenant. Also, handling repairs is a big one. Unless you have um, relationships with vendors that you really trust, you're going to want to uh, check on the work that they did to make sure it was done correctly. Sometimes there's posting of notice to get into the property that you'll need to do. So it's a little bit difficult if you're not in the area, you'll have to have someone here that can do that for you. And really having good um, relationships with vendors that you trust helps a lot so that you don't always have to be flying back or driving back to the property. Uh, conducting regular inspections. I recommend that every landlord do at least one formal inspection of the property per year. Here at SGA Management, we do a 40 point inspection with pictures that we send to our owners. And I would recommend that owners are doing self-management, even if it's abroad or out of the state, that they come in, give the proper notice to the tenant, and then inspect every area of that property. You're gonna find any preventative maintenance issues, maintenance issues. You'll also see if there's any lease violations that you need to address. The big one that may, many owners don't expect is the unexpected. So this is what when your tenant says, hey, um, I'm locked out, it's the middle of the night, can you come help me? Or if a tree falls on the property and you've gotta get out there to assess the damage. Or if they say, hey, I'm moving and I need to move out um, and I'm gonna be gone in a couple weeks, you know, can you help me fill this vacancy? I need to break my lease. So then you're going, you have to either fly back into town to put it back on the market, to show it. That could take quite a bit of time. Um, and these things do happen. Um, it's not always with malicious intent. Maybe they get transferred, something like that, um, and they just need to break the lease. So you're going to have to then drop what you're doing and come back to the property to handle that situation. So one thing to think about when you're doing this out of state is, how much time it's going to take to manage the property. So at SJA, we did uh, an approximation of all the time we spent on a property. It's about 70 hours a year. So you have to think about, okay, how much, how much is my time worth? If you're not using a property management company um, because you want to save money, are you actually saving money when you factor in all of this and your time associated with taking care of all of that? So there's just some things to think about if you're out of state. I would definitely recommend that you at least have someone in state that can run out to the property, that can handle things, that has some knowledge of property management to help you out if you're not using a property management company. Thank you very much. This is, uh, again, Devin Easterlin with SJA Property Management. If you have any more questions on this, I did do a post about DIY versus using a property management company. That might be helpful as well. Um, or you can reach out to me at any time. Thanks again.